What is up, my same piece, and welcome back to the Anime Monopoly channel. And today we got a few stuff that I wanted to talk about and I wanted to cover. Um, it consists of gaming, figures, and a bit of anime news. Uh, just a bit of anime news, not too much. Just I wanted to give you guys the news nonetheless. And I guess we're starting with uh, the gaming one, which is. Zack Snyder giving approval to direct Gears of War movie from the game's creator on one condition. Dave Bautista has long been campaigning to star in Gears of War film. So meaning Dave Bautista has to be probably Marcus. If you guys don't know Gears of War, Gears of War is a, a Microsoft exclusive game. Comes out only for the Xbox and uh, PC. Big fan of the game. I love the game. This is why I'm talking about it here today. Uh, just to see what's the condition, I guess. Because Dave Bautista, if you play Gears of War 5, he came out as a guest character. You could choose him as a guest, a guest character in Gears 5. Uh, now, the reason I'm, I'm not surprised that a movie is in the works because Netflix acquired the Gears of War license to make a movie and an animated series. Now we know how Netflix be doing with the live actions. <laughs> so hopefully they'll pull off Gears of War good, which that's my least hopeful one. The one I'm really hopeful for is the animated series that will we'll get something probably next year, the late next year uh, on the movie and the animated series next year. I know they're working with directly with Coalition, which is the studio that Microsoft has working on um, on Gears of War. So yeah, here we go. Just to go, I don't want to keep you guys here too long. Uh, Gears of War creator Glyph Blazinski has approved Zack Snyder potentially directed a movie based on the acclaimed video game series. While at GamesCon 2022 to promote his upcoming film Rebel Room, Snyder was asked which video game franchise he thinks he will make. Good films. Mm, interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't watch the games. Whatever. Gears has always come up in a sort of a circle. He briefly teased before saying that he has always been interested in Halo franchise, though he acknowledges that Paramount has already released a series based on the game. Well, he did not. What the heck? Get this on my face. Well, he did not say much as of. On Gears of War, Snyder has been a hot favorite among fans of the video game to helm a potential film. So there you have it. I have not watched this video and uh, I'll watch it later. But here, here it goes. A Gears of War film was greenlit at Netflix last year. So there you go. Netflix they still got the license. Though any further information on its development has remained scarce at the time of publishing and tentative release date, cast and director have not been announced. For the film, so we ha we have no casters, no nothing. This is literally like the first info we're getting of the Gears of War film for you Gears of War fans. Now, hopefully they pull it off and they do a great job. But that's pretty much it. Uh, just read a little bit more. It says now Clay Bazinski has reacted to Snyder's interest in Gears of War film, saying he approves. Of Snyder leading a movie, though he has one condition I approve, but only if Dave Bautista, if you don't know who Dave Bautista is, he's Bautista, the WWE, former WWE uh, uh, wrestler. Uh, he now acts, he's done uh, drags from Guardians of the Galaxy, he's done a few other roles as well. Uh, but Dave Bautista has put interest that he wants to be in the film as Marcus Phoenix, the, our main character from the... And we're starting off at the very beginning from Gears 1 to 3. He, uh, Marcus Phoenix is our main guy, is our guy. So that's basically what he's saying. Say he has to be Marcus Phoenix because he really wants to be Marcus Phoenix. He's a big fan of Gears of War as well, so you guys want to check out Gears of War. Please do. Snack Snyder wants to make a Gears of War movie. And apparently, a lot of the fans want that. Uh, I'm at least excited to hear something about this because Jesus, we haven't heard nothing about this period. Uh, this is where I will end this part of the video I'm talking about Gears of War. But uh, good thing we got at least something. Uh, 
hopefully this actually gets confirmed that he is the director and hopefully uh, later down later this year or beginning of next year early next year we start getting uh, the cast of who's gonna play which character and so on and so forth so yeah so a bit of a update for you Gears fans that have been winning for something of Gears of War Gear 6 Gears Gears something god dang it I'm winning for something Gears of War Jesus Christ I am very excited for the animated series but like I said zero info on that as well but just want to make this quick Gears of War set uh segment let's move on to the next one all right guys and we're back with more news uh i don't know what if you guys wanted to hear this or not but suzume is returning to japanese theaters for a limited run the reason why i wanted to speak on this is because uh i'm pretty sure some of you missed it some of you watched it in other formats and some of us went to the theaters check out the podcast that I had with little A, uh, my little brother, uh, our thoughts on the movie, check it out, link in the description, uh, but it is returning to theaters in Japan, maybe, we could hope, speculate, if you missed it, maybe it will come back for two, couple, two, three days, you have another chance to watch it, uh, it wasn't theaters for a very long time, because it was a very popular film, it did great overall, even though the film itself was Eh, the story was okay, but maybe speculate it'll come to an American theaters for two or three days. Get a chance for you guys, for you that missed it, get to watch it. I personally won't go watch it again because it's not worth my time and money to go watch it again in the big theaters. But anyways, there you go, guys. Just a uh, Susan may return to Japanese theaters for a very limited time. Uh, and Blu-ray and DVD, get ready for that Blu-ray and DVD, because I know I am. I know I'm going to buy it. Uh, I'm going to get the pop-up parade as well for these two characters. And let's move it along to the next segment. All right, and we're back with a little bit of merch. The reason I want to talk about this merch is because hopefully this merch comes to the States uh, down in the future, because as of now, it's not coming down to the States nor Japan crazy right yeah Japan ain't getting some merch what and there's a studio collab with Studio Ghibli uh, to do uh, Studio Ghibli merch I've seen some of the pictures of the merch already it looks epic it looks amazing but let's get to it neither Japan nor the US are the first countries to get the, oh, the first countries to get the first collab between the anime studio and fashion brand there you go fashion brand so here we go. Says, Over the years, we've seen U- Uniqlo team up with the, with the whole slew of popular anime for t-shirts line from all-time classics like Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, to more recent hits like Attack on Titan and Spy X Family. But we haven't seen Uniqlo do it, collaborate with Studio Ghibli until now. This is one of the shirts. Check it out. I want that shirt so bad. That's what I'm talking about because hopefully, hopefully we get it in the States. Uh, this is actually a three-way collaboration involving Uni- Yukilo, Stru Ghibli, and Thai artist Kanyan- Kanyada Fantan. Uh, sorry, butcher your name. Fantan, who's also a photographer and poet, is a regular contributor to Studio Ghibli's monthly magazine, Nepu. And rather than just slapping a couple of pieces of Ghibli key art on some t-shirts and calling it a day, Fantan applied her creative sense to Ghibli's iconic characters and creature designs to create several new illustrations for the Uniqlo Ghibli line. And I say beautiful art. She did such an amazing doing unique art styles for this collab. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I love that. So far I want everything from this collab. But like I said. This is starting with the short sleeve t-shirts. Here we go. That is epic. Nice and simple. White. I love it. I love it. I love the colors it has. And then the very picture we saw on top. Uh, this stuff will be in the description. You guys want to read this as well. So, yeah. So, we're just looking at the spirit away. 
There we go. And Castle in the Sky. I need to watch that movie. I need to watch it because I have not watched it. So there's a few shirts. There's a good amount of shirts. Kiki's Delivery Service. Oh, I love Kiki's. Nice and simple with the pocket. Yes. I don't know why, but that doing that pocket for Kiki's Delivery Service absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Yes. Stitch too. All right, we'll read this. As you might, as you might have noticed, way above, while you, you, Uniqlo's anime collaboration are usually limited to T-shirts only. For the Ghibli Land, they're offering button-up shirts as well, one with Totoro and Cat Buzz and other with more Makuro Kurosuke. So there's the button-up shirts. Oh, nice. Oh, they look so good, man. Oh, third button up with the little uh, guy from Princess Mon Mon Monarchy. Yes, long sleeve with her mask. Yo, simple, but I'm losing myself. <laughs> Look at low, yo, this collab. I I really do hope we do get it. This collab, we have to, man. This merch is looking too good. Long sleeve versions. This is absolute. Hopefully, we get this collab. Hopefully, hopefully. Look how gorgeous this stuff looks. The socks, yo, big fan. Oh, here we go. It says the entire lineup is on sale now. And if you've been in the Japanese Uniqlo recently and are wondering why you didn't see GB items, that's because the line appears to be, for the moment anyway, exclusive to Uniqlo Singapore and Thailand. The two. The vendors of the company list the price for the GB t-shirts and bags. Uh, 20 bucks, 14 bucks, 16 bucks. The button up shirts and sweatshirts at 40 bucks. Socks at 6 bucks. Given the Japan and Studio Ghibli's home market and the immense popularity of the films in the US, it would seem that the Uniqlo Ghibli line will eventually make it to stores in those countries too but for the time being orders can be made on Uniqlo Singapore and Thailand online shops here and here there you have it so right now it's exclusive to Singapore and Thailand but if you saw that merch it looks epic it looks absolutely amazing uh, like Japan's gonna eventually get it hopefully we can get that merch over here in the States so we can have our right sizes me being a little bigger heftier guy 2x baby please <laughs> yeah so uh, the reason I want to talk about this merch because the merch looks amazing it looks great and hopefully uh, hopefully it comes to uh, America as well here's to hope let's move on to the final segment <laughs> all right let's talk about figures because it's figure time I do talk about figures in this channel because I am the anime monopoly channel what is this? Cancel. Get out of my face. I'm trying to talk here. Anyways, Prisma Wing announced her new Raptalia. And the reason I wanted to talk about this because some people are upset of the pose they gave her and the face she has. I will say her face is just a tad bit off. Not too much. Uh, really. Uh, doesn't bother me. It looks great. She looks phenomenal. What is all this? Get this. Oh, Lord. Anyways, but she... Uh, let's just read this real quick. Prison Wing and Japanese enemy figure manufacturer revealed a one seven scale figure of Raftalia, the main heroine from the anime series. The Rise of the Shield Hero is available for pre-order now. It is on Ami Ami. It just went up for pre-order, I think, yesterday. Uh, it was a Tuesday or Wednesday it went up for pre-order. And... Uh, if you know, Prisma Wing is the daughter company of Prime One Studios. So you can pre order her in Ami Ami or go to the direct source in Prime One, which I will I will go for Prime One uh, if I'm being honest. Uh, I have ordered stuff in there. I have a statue, my 2B from Prime One as a statue, not a figure though. Um, it is two, it is kind of pricey $249. Now I'm saying I think you'll get her cheaper on Prime One's website. Because it is the source, and uh, mine, I have one that just got delayed. Maylene, to be more exact. 
Uh, but yes, she is over pre-order and she does cost a hefty price. Um, look, the reason I say I'm talking about it is because people have had issues with her pose, and I'm like, why? Like, it's not that bad. It's you guys are over exaggerating, to be honest. Um, this is her pose. This is her fully. You're her prime one. You do get a separate face that comes with it. Um, an exclusive face, I believe. I believe it's exclusive. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, there she is. She looks cute. I love it. Some people were upset they didn't give her a battling pose, which is fine. Uh, the first one I tell you where she's grown up by Fat Company, I believe. I could be wrong, but I think it's Fat Company. Uh, that one's great. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It did her pose great. Her posing with her sword. And then the one where she's in the kimono posing battle style as well. So there's a few battle style uh, poses of Retalio figures out there. So for Prisma Wing to go with the QT pose, I have no issue with it. But some people do have issues with it. Some people are saying Prisma Wing is just not worth it in general. Look, we won't know until we get these figures if Prisma Wing is actually worth it or not. Once these Prisma Wing uh, figures start coming in, we'll see if they will be established as one of the best companies or a company that just people just will not like. But let me tell you something for sure. Prisma Wing is not going anywhere. Prisma Wing was made by Prime One, one of the best, if not the best, statue resin companies out there. And I'm pretty sure they're going to do everything in their power to turn it around and become one of the powerhouses in the scale figure, anime scale figure community. Trust me. Uh, they do great with the resins. So I'm pretty sure if they see people not saying too much about the Prisma Wing figures, I think they will turn it around to make them uh, more amazing, more epic, and compete with the likes of... Uh, Good Smile Shanghai Arts, Good Smile Company, um, Maito is one of the best companies out there, uh, Apex, a lot of great companies out there that make great, great, amazing quality figures, but there you guys have it, I won't keep you guys here for too long because I've been talking for too long, Jesus Christ, anyways guys, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for the support, and remember, stay safe, be safe, and stay cool out there, because Golly, this is seat. This heat's no freaking joke, dude. Jesus. It's killing.